rise and grind, rise and grind. I got a customer that's in a high rise condominium. They have a toilet, brand new toilet that was delivered to their condo, but the toilet was delivered broken and the company does not have anybody available to pick it up. They're gonna pay the customer to you know, provide service to remove the toilet from the property. So I'm on my way now to pick up the toilet. See y'all when I get there. Beautiful Baltimore, I tell you, this is beautiful Baltimore that you do not see on TV. And just to clarify, these homes are in Baltimore City that you're witnessing, okay? So trust and believe me. The city that reads, that's the slogan, you know? <laughs> It's a beautiful city. Stay tuned. Broken toilet. Brand new broken toilet. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know if you could call it brand new because it had water in it. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I guess they set the toilet up and somehow it broken, but that's it. Here's the building. It's a real, real big building. Another satisfied customer. Easy job. Because uh, the toilet was right there by the door. Contractor door, so time to roll, baby. This job, I didn't charge the customer that much. I only charged the customer $65, okay? $65, it only took me roughly 12, 12 minutes to get down here. Um, traffic was light. So yeah, the toilet was at the customer's uh, contractor door. So it really didn't take much effort for me to retrieve the toilet. There was a uh, worker uh, inside, a gentleman. I believe he's the uh, foreman. And he stated that I should have charged the customer at least 125. Well, the whole goal of this next lap. this job was not to bank on cash. It was just basically, you know, make a quick 65 bucks and get out of there. And it only took me five minutes, five minutes, five minutes to pick up a toilet, put it on the back of my truck, made a quick 65 bucks. Okay, I say this to say. What I gained from this job was a quick 65 bucks. And what I also gained from this job is potential of more customers, okay? This particular customer, he's an actual home investor. You know, he, he basically buys properties, flips homes, and he has a team. He's got a couple of other buddies that also does the same thing. So whenever they have big jobs that they need uh, stuff removed, this customer says that he's going to utilize my service and also recommend to his colleagues and friends to use my service as well. Also, what I gain here is that the actual property management, he took my number down too because he says that he has so many residents in that building that needs junk removed. Particular property doesn't provide that service. So, you know, you got to contract it out. We got more business coming. You know, we were able to spread the name of the business. Even though I don't have business cards yet, I don't have business brochures, I don't have yard signs yet. I'm all, you know, I'm, I'm working on it. Uh, I got a budget for it. Uh, but once I get the budget for it, I'll get it. To say the least, don't let anything stop you guys from trying to, you know, start your business and jump remove it. I started off with a truck, got a trailer, and, um, you know, I just kept working myself up. Just kept working myself up. I don't even have a, a, a website yet, but you know, the website is being built, but it's not live yet. The only thing that I really have is my LLC and you know, just, just my mind. It's all about, you know, learning as you go and definitely learn uh, as you run into other junk removal businesses. The free game tip is that when you guys are at the dump, and you see 
a company or a person that looks like that they're they professionally do, do junk removal stop them and talk to them okay you want to talk to them and you want to ask them this question just tell them that hey you know you're new in the junk removal business is it possible that they can just share a tip with you on how to market your business to get customers and how to stay in business any type of first time tips that they can give you know just just ask them for that and what you're going to find out is that there are some really respectful people in this junk removal business that's that will actually give you tips when i was at the landfill recently i ran into this uh, guy that actually does junk removal service and he's been doing it for 22 years 22 years okay he told me look you'll never go hungry in this business all right. Next right. Once you once you get started and you keep going and you keep building up your company reputation, you will never go hungry in this business. Your end result is going to be based off of how much grind and dedication you put into your business. Again, your end result is going to be how much time and dedication you put into your business. If you give little, you're going to get little. Okay, if you treat your business that this is your only bread and butter, okay, so you grind every day to try to put your name on a map, try to do jobs, no matter how big or small it is, you're gonna to continue to grow your company. All right. Don't let don't let anything stop you. And you know, start off with what you have and just continue to build yourself up. What you'll find out is that as you go from job to job, uh, you're gonna learn exactly of what type of tools uh, and, and equipment that you need for the job okay you learn as you go most definitely don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, be sure to hit that notification